Moving outside of Africa, United Nations agencies have launched an emergency appeal to respond to the sovereign humanitarian needs following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The body has called for a total of $1.7 billion to help people who have fled the country and those still inside. Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator Martin Griffiths called for compassion to match the scale of the crisis. Griffiths explained that 40% of the former would be via cash delivery to deliver straight to the beneficiary in the country, with women and girls' needs especially looked after. He spoke alongside others. I have been coordinating in a regional response plan for the situation beyond Ukraine's borders, which Filippo leads and will talk about. The flash appeal for response inside Ukraine, which I'm responsible for coordinating, will need $1.1 billion in funding for three months to help 6 million of the most vulnerable in Ukraine for that three months. And of those 6 million, we calculate over a million uh, will be internally displaced. And I think the important point there is that those in need are not only those who move, but those in need will be those whose basic services have been destroyed, whose pensions have been stopped, whose internet has been, uh, has been stopped, whose health care. Last night at the Security Council, I reported 520,000 refugees. Now, less than 24 hours before, the latest figure, I just got it, is 677,000. So another 150,000 added in less than 24 hours. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says Vladimir Putin is prepared to use barbaric and indiscriminate tactics against innocent citizens in Ukraine, but stressed he was convinced the Russian president will fail. Speaking during a joint news conference in Warsaw with his Polish counterpart, Masius Motoreki, Johnson also praised Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky for his leadership and courage. Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Motoreski said that more sanctions and strengthening the eastern flank of NATO are top priorities. The two leaders made the statement after holding bilateral talks on the situation in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin is prepared to use barbaric and indiscriminate tactics against innocent civilians to bomb uh, tower blocks, to send missiles into tower blocks uh, to kill uh, children, uh, as we're seeing in increasing numbers. He has fatally underestimated two things, and the first is the passionate desire of the Ukrainian people to defend and protect their own country, their belief in their sovereign right to defend themselves. And may I pay tribute, by the way, uh, to the leadership and courage that is being shown by Volodymyr Zelensky. Also, the United Kingdom has shown support for Ukraine's call that Russia be suspended from the Global Police Agency Interpol. British Interior Minister Priti Patel said the UK would rally international partners to also support the suspension, making a statement to lawmakers on assistance for those fleeing Ukraine. Patel said some normal entry requirements had been waived. British citizens and settled persons in the UK will be able to bring over unlimited number of Ukrainian family members and an additional 100,000 Ukrainians are eligible, according to Patel. The government of Ukraine has requested that the Russian government be suspended from Interpol, a position the UK wholeheartedly endorses, and we are rallying other international partners to also call for the same and support. I've also removed the usual language requirements and salary thresholds to come to the UK to be with their family members. And where family members of British nationals do not meet the usual eligibility criteria, but do pass all security checks, we will give them permission to enter the UK outside the usual rules for 12 months. This means that British nationals and any person settled in the UK can bring over immediate Ukrainian family members. Through this policy alone, an additional 100,000 Ukrainians could be eligible to come to the UK and access work and public services. There is no limit on the numbers eligible under this route, Mr Speaker.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.